Hello again. Not exactly sunny, but not raining, thank goodness. That's tomorrow, <laughs> but that's another story. So for today, it's not raining. We're gonna head down, see Wall, feed Rufus, try and see Barry before he goes home again. All good. I'm gonna head up the steps of Mules Park because I want to start off by showing you a lovely picture from Mark, one of his early 60s pictures, which I think you're gonna like. So we're not going into Mules Park, just going down over the bridge from the top. That's the idea anyway. Here we go, lovely. Oh, why not? Right, well now I've got that out of my system. <laughs> um, I want to show you the first picture from Mark of today's pictures. This is the early 60s and there's all sorts of things I want to point out in the picture. I am a little bit further up, but that's so you can see everything else. If I was down from where it was taken exactly, you'd just see a wall. But I'm sure you'll get the gist and I'll talk over the picture as I show you it. Here we go. Okay, so the top part of the yacht club has not been built. That's what was the old observation deck. It was only a single layer before. Remember that myself. The pier has still got the ballroom on the end, as you can see, that was demolished in about 74, 75. Across the road from the old Coast Guard lookout is like a blue shed built into the wall or up against the wall. Not quite sure, never seen that, don't remember that at all. And just up from that is a flat roof where is now the area where that person flies his flags from his flat. So that's quite visible. That was a hotel back at the time, I know that, because then underneath that flat roof bit used to be the nursery. Anyway, lovely. So that's lovely, Mark. Thank you ever so much indeed. Spot on. Of course, it would be rude not to just do a quick spot of observation. So we shall. Nice breezy morning. Here, baby seagulls knocking around. Got the wind blocker on at the moment. I'm not sure if I'll be taking it off today. So there we go. It eat what it eat, isn't it? Ah, uh, train, lovely. First train off today. Smash it. So we're gonna have a wander along there. Try and bump into Barry and feed Rufus T. Robin. Oh yes. Right, let's go. And good morning. I really just haven't shown my face for a couple of days. And they have started building a permanent sort of cover instead of the umbrellas. There's a wooden frame there over the seating area outside of Team Bean. There's that extremely noisy baby seagull I could hear quite clearly from up on the observation deck. Well, despite what I said just now about keeping the wind blocker on, I decided to drop it off at least on the walk up there because the wind is behind me. On the way back, I may put it on. We shall have to see. One half of our blue and green train. Lovely. As we know, the official Devonshire term, just a tiny tacker. Here we go, spray point, lovely. Go and feed Rufus in a sec. Just think there might be a train coming past first. Don't want to miss that when I'm with Rufus. Here we go. I said there was a couple coming. And there was a small toot there, or a groan, or some sort of noise anyway. So we'll put that down as a semi-happy train. And there should be one coming in the opposite direction. Then we we'll go through Rufus. Bye-bye.
Here we go. Another little tiny tacker. What a shame. There we go. Right, let's go feed Rufus. Oh, train first. Train takes priority. Will we get Toot? Yay! Happy train! Bye bye. All quiet in Rufus land today. I have approached from the other side, but normally he's here. Not today. Let's top up his feeder. Didn't take him long to show up. Right, let's get feeding. One full feeder. And Rufus has already grabbed a load off of it, knocked it on the floor and gone down there and disappeared directly in behind that plant there, that leaf there, so we can't see him. But you've seen him just now on the uh, branch, so you know he's here. Oh, there he is. Hello, mate. Look. Lovely. There he is. Right. We leave him be. You enjoy, mate. You enjoy. So there we go. That's Rufus. Well and truly fed for the day. And uh, probably despite the weather, I may be down here tomorrow anyway because I believe the Mayflower is coming through tomorrow and that's the last last trip it's going to be making to Devon this year. So I'll have to try and catch that, won't I? Be a miss of me not to. It's going to head up to this end, have a quick look down the wall. See if I can see Barry. If I can, great. If I can't, I'll probably give him a message and say, I'm on my way back now, mate. There's a quick pan along the wall, really. See if I can see him. Not that many people to distinguish. Can't see him. Never mind. All good. Hello. Masculating. Okay, so I've dropped a message to Barry, giving him my location and route I intend to take, and uh, pop the wind blocker back on for the walk back. Because, like I said, I'm walking into the wind now, so it fully warrants it. Well, we've had so far three pictures from Mark, but you haven't seen Mark yet. We haven't introduced himself. So what I'm going to do 
film this train. There we go. And then I'm going to line up and show you a picture of Mark just by Skew Bridge here. And here he is, sat roughly here on this little bit of wall in the early 60s. Here's Mark. What a lovely picture. And as usual, I'm not going to try and identify the train. I'll leave that up to the experts. I hear you lot. So anyway, that's Mark. Got a few more of his pictures to come in upcoming videos. Smash in. Remember they were doing that rendering at the bottom of the uh, th bottom of the building next to the Thornhill. They finished that. Look, it's all getting repainted. I think they've redone the doorway as well. Looking very nice. Looking very posh. Looking lovely. Excellent. Yeah, we're on a windy seafront. No surprises there. Quite rough as well. A bit further up. See the waves splashing up. Get close up of that in a sec. it all calms down considerably second I start filming. A lot more splashes just now. Yeah, it was all splashing down here as well where I am, so I thought I might even get my legs wet. Never mind, all good. 19, yep, give it that. Sunny at 10.51. Oh, exactly, perfect. The Phoenix has survived well down here on our blurry seafront. Impressed with that. Excellent. See if we see any splashy splashes here. There we are, one splash. It was doing that like mad when I started looking at it earlier on. Never mind, it's what it is. All good. Have a usual quick shot down the seafront. Lovely. A few splashy splashes here, but they're few and far between. All together now, these are the tables, formerly known as the captain's tables, tables outside of Venus. Yay. Well, there we go. I've gone a bit further up the seafront than I was intending to. I'm not going any further than this though. Let's have a look at the crazy golf. Here we go, crazy golf area. Fairly busy. Not going to say it's heaving. There's some people there, it's good. And the uh, tennis court in use. Obviously a local that knows how to get through the uh, pay barrier, so to speak, as you don't have any information whatsoever to tell you how to do it yourself. And despite the wind, we have the uh, inflatables on the den. A true sign of summer. Lovely. Back in Venus. Like I say, a bit of a shame that they don't use the uh, takeaway area down the bottom. Yeah, so I went a little bit further along than I was planning to. But uh, like I say, probably rain tomorrow. So they're saying anyway, so not sure if I'm going to be get out of that long, so I'll make up for it today. It's all good though. Not working. Nobody playing bowls today.
And here we go, it's time to start heading back home. Find the triangle. No seagull super glued to the top of the fountain today, it's escaped. It's no good. Let's catch another one and get it replaced ASAP. This brunch, Luna's, Triangle Pet Shop as was, back of boots, never reopened since COVID, and Coaster's Calf, lovely. Grills, now rapidly becoming my second favourite takeout place. Oh, and this Punch and Judy in action, lovely. Let's steal a little bit of the show, and why not? He's getting the baby. The baby. Heaven help what's going to happen to the baby. The children will be traumatised. All good, clean seaside fun. I'm going to say a lovely bit of seaside entertainment. Smashing. And with that, I'm going to start making my way up home. That's a nice little wonder. Sorry about the uh, breeze. That's almost Christmas here, isn't it? Oh, don't even think about it. <laughs> so there we go. Another wonder makes its way to a gentle conclusion. Like I say, not sure what's happened tomorrow. It might be the start of this bad weather they've been threatening us with. But it is what it is. I'll be going somewhere doing something. Hopefully you'll come and join me. See you then, same time, same place. Take care. Bye.